Hi crafters, Karen here from Karen's Crafting Company and in today's video it's all about another sheet load of cards. But for the month of September we have a special edition and it's special because this month's sheet load is number 50. Yes, 50. Can you believe it? Crafty L has designed 50 sheet load of card templates. I think that is absolutely amazing. Now, before I go into sharing with you my cards and everything that I used, let me remind you that you can click on the hashtag that you see in the title, or you can click on the playlist if the hashtag isn't working to check out the collaboration team's videos. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. If you are new to sheet load of cards, let me just tell you that Crafty Al makes it super easy for you. In order to get your template, all you need to do is subscribe to Call Me Crafty Al's YouTube channel and you will get a free copy of her sheet load. Now, when I say that this is super easy, she basically lays everything out for you. So she tells you the supplies that you need, how many cards that you'll make. If you don't want to make all 12 cards for this month's sheet load, she gives you dimensions on just making one card. And then she also shares with you alternatives on how you can mix it up and change it up a little bit. On the other side, she gives you all the cutting guides and measurements for your card bases, your card stock, and of course your pattern paper. So let me share with you everything that I used for my cards uh, for this month. So I'm going to start with the paper first. Um, I'm using this paper pad by Craftsmark. Uh, it's called Hearth and Harvest and this was a hot buy at um, Michael's. And I had this for a couple of years now so I was happy that I was able to kind of dive in and use this up. I'm also using the For All Things stamp set by Stampin' Up. I believe that this is uh, a retired stamp set. Uh, I'm using the Grateful For You sentiment along with the acorns. And then uh, when you saw on the template, you saw this half circle here. I'm using stickers uh, for that, for my cards uh, for this month. And I took, I picked out a couple, uh, two different uh, flowers. I cut them in half and used that as my focal points. And then on my strip, I added my sentiment. And I'll share that with you right now. All right, so here's my first set of cards. And uh, so when you cut the papers down, you do get uh, minimal scraps. I mean, like minimal. You get like two um, strips. I think they're like half inch. And so I cut them down and uh, one is to fit vertical. And then my other one fits horizontally across. So those worked out great. And I was able to do that for four of my 12 cards. Now you can see here that uh, here's the sticker that I told you about, the flower sticker that I used as my focal point. And then for my sentiment, I decided to use that white strip and I brought in the acorns to fill in that white space there on the left and then added my sentiment to the right. I also used uh, glitter gold cardstock to uh, mat my pattern papers. Now, for my card bases, I typically, for A7 size cards, I will purchase them already uh, pre-cut and pre-scored because they do come with the envelopes. And I just find it more convenient for me, and I usually always get them on sale uh, at either Michael's, uh, Joann's, or Hobby Lobby. All right, so that's my first set. And then my second set is this. And again, the same thing. I was able to, you know, with those scraps, uh, put it vertically on one and then horizontally on the other. And that is my take. And I did use different um, flowers uh, for 
um, for this set. I had enough for that set and then I, I ran out and then I picked a different flower and then I used, um, again, a different flower for my second set. So you could see there. Well, friends, this wraps up another video on the sheet load of carbs, and I hope that it has inspired you to go ahead and get your September sheet load and make your first set uh, you, with the special edition of the 5x7 cards. And congratulations again to Crafty L for designing her 50th sheet load template. Until my next video, friends, I hope your day is a crafty day. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you again real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.